pull out to old African American cemeteries, war uh, uh, soldier cemeteries, all that stuff. <laughs> Call me weird, but that's what I like. The condition of this cemetery, which lays on the inactive Fort Monroe area base, is the home to many emancipated and self-emancipated, which means runaway escaped slaves from the 1800s. I just wanted to share with you guys after I stopped crying the neglect. Back there you see old tombstones. Uh, that's from that time from what I can see and read on some of them, but I ain't going too deep in these grass because snakes are out here. But I just wanted to share with you guys the neglect. The neglect. It breaks my heart. <laughs> to know this is going on out here. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <sighs> this grass you see here is underneath a lot of graves from our ancestors who sacrificed so much for us. <sighs> and this is the respect they get. Set because Hampton, which is where this cemetery lays, is home to a lot of black people, professional black people, educated black people who went to college here at Hampton University, which is historically black college. And this is this is the cemetery. Back here is where a lot of the graves are. But you can't see a lot of it because it's overgrown. It's overgrown. This shouldn't be without our ancestors toiling and working so hard, staying brave and courageous through the worst atrocity ever in American history. And then have to be disrespected like this. I'm just really upset. I'm really upset because I didn't come to this one. But I'm glad I did because I'm going to call some people. And. You know, I wanted to do a video and show you guys the actual cemetery. There's a lot of people who died out here, like I said, who were emancipated slaves and some who were not. And also the remains of Miss Mary S. Peak, um, one of the first teachers at the historic, now inactive Fort Monroe. And she taught free men and women how to read here under an oak tree. I think that the oak tree, oak tree is based, is, I'm, I'm sorry, it's located at Fort Monroe. It's not out here. But she taught them all under a tree. She took a chance because this, this was before the Civil War. This was before slavery ended. She took a chance on teaching people how to read. Um, oh God, it's, so, it's just so depressing. The name of the oak tree that she taught people how to read under it's called Emancipation Oak. So look her up, Mary S. Peak, P-E-A-K-E. -E. She's out here. I'm gonna hold the phone up, maybe you can see over there, there's some tombstones covered, overgrown. <laughs> we black people gotta do better than this. You would never find, and I will show you guys some, cause I go to them, historic Confederate cemeteries where the Confederate soldiers are buried. I mean, pristine and clean. We can't depend on other people to do right by us. This is disgusting. And I apologize to all my ancestors out here. I apologize to you guys because you guys made it possible for so many of us to be able to live in some semblance of peace here and justice. And I thank you guys for all your many sacrifices.
And Father, y'all, please continue to let those rest in peace here who served you rightfully, righteously, dutifully, faithfully, and honorably. I ask you, please, to continue to let them rest in your good grace and mercy out here. Please, Father, y'all, help us. As a people, we need you. We need you. I'm not going to hold you guys anymore. The cemetery is neglected. I'm going to try and make my channel about restoring. As you can see, the condition of this cemetery, but only the black slaves lay here. And this is exactly a, a representation of the communities and the mindset of our people. We don't want to hear this, but we don't take care of our ancestors, cemeteries, our children's schools. We don't even take care of ourselves. We think everything is funny. We have to be entertained. And as soon as we get some money, we go over and we spend it with the same people who are coming for, for us, for black people, Zionists, Jews. One of the things that people don't understand is just a little while, just a minute ago, I saw a caption with the Zionists are coming for black people. Well, it shouldn't be any new news to us about anybody coming for us because we had to go through periods where our ancestors were sought out by slave catchers. But it still hasn't sunk in that these people do not care about us. We have to care about ourselves. But we haven't been doing a very good job of that. We can't even come together to elect someone to, to actually work on our behalf. Everything is not a joke. And right now, black people's situation in America and Africa and all over the world is a very serious thing. But you don't want to really hear the truth. I, I understand that. Um, see, if it doesn't have a cartoon with it, if it doesn't have any music, some rap with it, it doesn't interest you. It doesn't catch your attention because you don't really care about your ancestors, or how you came to be in the position that you are in now. What you care about is you. And see, that is part of the problem. People want you to be so focused on the things that don't matter while they take advantage of you and all of the United States citizens by taking from Social Security, by not uh, actually funding DEI programs, programs that black people a lot of times don't get the best of the program. We get such a small portion. There's something similar to what happened with the Civil Rights Act. Do you know it was supposed to be about black people, but more white people and uh, other uh, nationalities got more of the program than black people. And it's that way all the time. But you can't see that if you don't look for it. 